What's going on guys? We're gonna be cutting a sign today. Uh, it's gonna be a, uh, about a six inch by uh, 40 inch sign or so. So we're gonna go ahead and set up software for this particular gauge steel. Um, here's what we're working with. It's actually galvanized, which is not the best option when cutting uh, cutting pretty much anything on plasma. Um, this will offset some chemicals, so we need to make sure we wear the respirator and stuff. So, uh, But let's go ahead and set up the software and get moving with uh, setting up the CAD. Since this is a sign, we're going to use a bit finer cutting bit than we normally would for thicker material. So, we want to disconnect this guy. Connect the new one. There we go. Put the sensing ring on the cutting head for height control. Connect height control without actually removing the ohmic ring. Uh, There we go. So there's our height control. Basically, this ohmic sensing ring touches the metal, and once it senses, you know, zero resistance or close to it, then that's where it sets the height. So make make sure basically everything is starting off from the right height. So what we can do is after we set our cut paths, we can actually select the cut paths and do a cut preview. And that will basically show us exactly the path that the plasma cutter is going to take and how fast it's going to take it. So I'm going to go ahead and verify this and then we'll do a dry run to make sure that the material is aligned properly and I have the DSF line properly. And uh, then we'll go from there. All right, let's do a dry run. Let's go.
that is it for this one guys if you like this like should you know share subscribe that's it for this one guys 